Hey guys, here today with a special uh, review. Uh, as you may have seen on my channel, I announced that I'm going to be working on a new mini series. So I needed uh, some figures for the work since, like I said, I downsized my dress part collection, and I don't really want to be using a lot of the series one stuff for what I'm going to be doing. So I've been looking around trying to find some other, somewhat not cheap, cheap, but like somewhat other toy line to use. And I was in Toys R Us, and I came across this. Animal Planet set. Still uh, fairly new. It's got the Papo T-Rex on it too, which I thought was kind of cool. This is what comes in the set. I will be doing an unboxing right now and reviewing what comes inside so you guys can all uh, see. Actually, before I get out of the box, give you a quick look at the back and the sides. It's on the side. Pretty cool artwork. It says Animal Planet. just the back art and then just lots of uh, text and everything on the back of the box and the Papo T-Rex again in the corner. But yeah, let me get this out of the box so I can uh, review what comes inside. Alrighty, well here's everything out of the box, continuing on. You got this little cool T-Rex. These were, uh, it says Animal Plant on the box, but I'm pretty sure these are Chat May figures. They're just uh, redone and repainted, but uh, this looks like a Dress Park 3 T-Rex that came with that general dude almost. <laughs> Let me get this little Charisaur guy. His head can move. 360 if you really want. His wings can move too. Pretty, pretty cool. Red paint job. Comes with uh, little accessories for your guys. A backpack, a flashlight, binoculars and what looks to be the same kind of thing we had in the Dress Park 3 lines that was Lost World 2, like these grappling things that were weird. Almost very Dress Park-like. You got this Raptor. Press this. Kinda cool, little thing. Got a decent paint job, decent enough paint job anyway. It's weird, the way he was in the box legs are almost like warped kind of because like the little wire tie that was tying them together like almost warped it. Maybe I can fix it. Pretty neat. I'm not going to be using all this stuff in my new thing I'm doing but I may. I don't know. It depends. It comes with this cool little dinosaur bones. Pluck these out and then you can build it. But yeah, you pluck all these out of this little Thing. It looks like an excavation site almost. And then you, yeah, put that together. Also comes with this blue little plane. It says Animal Planet and may have to paint over that or something. But it comes with that on it. No steering wheel. It's a pretty sweet little engine. But yeah. Oh, there's still another. Thing on that fail. There we go. Now it's off. Now I can turn. But yeah, it comes with this cool little plane. Nothing really crazy. Chat May 2008. So I guess this plane's from a Chat May set. But the, I don't know. Maybe Chat May teamed up with Animal Planet. I think is what happened. I'm not 100% positive because I don't really follow Chat May that much the stuff they've been doing, but it also comes with these two little figures, two little human figures, which is also kind of like what I need for this, they said, because I don't really have many other figures, so having these other human figures would be nice. Now for the main thing that everyone basically cares about is the T-Rex here. He's uh, pretty decently sized and pretty cool looking, if you ask me. Definitely the centerpiece of this whole set right here. I mean, there's the guy next to it, so, uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty pretty large. But uh, his action feature is he's got this little trigger. Press that, and then... Pretty cool, if you ask me. I mean, the Godzilla sounds, I wish they could have done something a little bit better, but, hey. This is actually a pretty cool T-Rex uh, figure. I mean, 
for Chat May. I mean, it's pretty cool. Get a lot of detail on him. I mean, not as much as the Papo figures, but he has a pretty decent amount of detail for what it is. Definitely the the main piece of the set. And then you also get this little tree house thing below him. I mean, it's not really much either, but it's like hollow on the back, so. But it's got this cool little area for like some people go in and hide and be like, oh crap. And you can hide in there or something or whatever. You can put other stuff in there. Comes with this ladder that you can put anywhere and dig off and whatever. Same one here. It's got this little vine too. This vine piece can come off, and that's kind of cool. We can like hang that somewhere else. Like, I'm gonna hang it right there instead, or wherever. But that's kind of cool. So overall, it's a pretty, pretty neat little place, that guys. I mean, this could just be the Jurassic Park fan inside of me, because there hasn't really been much for the Jurassic Park toys as of recently, besides them just doing repaint after repaint and stuff. So. I mean, I also was a fan of the original Dino Valley stuff. I mean, I never really got crazy into it, but yeah, this is definitely a pretty cool set you should check out if you come by it. It's like 40 bucks at Toys R Us. I mean, maybe if you find it on sale somewhere or something, but it's 40 bucks at Toys R Us, but if you can get it cheaper, uh, definitely pick it up or give it a look because it's pretty cool. As always, subscribe, rate, comment, let me know what you think. Do you have this set? Do you want to pick this set up? Let me know. Stay tuned, there'll be more on the way. I picked up a few more of these sets I'm going to be reviewing. So, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.